Hi, boys and girls. How are you? This is your coach, Noel, and I'm so excited to be working with you today on this math lesson. Parents, I want to welcome you. Boys and girls, let's go ahead and get started because we always have quite a bit to cover. So let's go ahead and take a look at this here. What we're doing today is we're going over some number patterns, okay? And I want you to just know that with these number patterns, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out what these three numbers are, what numbers are missing. And sometimes, let me give you a heads up, you are going to have to think quite a bit and you're going to have to figure out what this pattern is going to be. Sometimes it might be easy, sometimes it might be a little bit challenging, okay? So, and let me remind you too that sometimes you're going to be adding, sometimes you're going to be subtracting, sometimes you're going to be dividing, Sometimes you might, be, you might be multiplying. Sometimes you might increase the numbers by a few. Sometimes you might be doubling a number. It just depends. You got to have to kind of think about it and see what's happening with the pattern, okay? So let's take a look at a few. I'll help you out with a few. So here we have 22, 20, 18. What's happening? What happened between this 20 and 22 and then this 20 with the 18? Do you have any idea? That's right. We reduce them by 2. Look, 22, and we're counting backwards. 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. What's going to go next? 17, 16 goes here. 15, 14 goes here. 13, 12 goes there. Let's take a look at another one, okay? Here we have 3, 6, 9. What's happening with this number pattern? What do you think? We have a 3, then the 3 became a 6, then the 6 became a 9. What do you think happened? That's right. We added 3. It increased by 3. So here we have 3, 6, 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. So a 12 goes here. 12 plus 3 is 15. A 15 goes here. 15 plus 3 is 18. And 18 goes there. Okay? Now let's take a look at the next one. Here we have 2, 4, 8, 16. What happened here? Any ideas? This 2 became a 4, this 4 became an 8, this 8 became a 16. So what's going on here is I'm multiplying by 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and then 8 times 2 is 16. So the next one's going to have to be 16 times 2. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 goes there. So here we have 32 now. 32 times 2 is 64. A 64 is going to go here. Then we're going to have to do 64 times 2, which is going to be 128. So that's how you do it. Let's take a look at the rest of the number patterns, okay? Here we have 15, 30, 45. 15, 30, 45, you're going to have to figure out the next three numbers in the sequence. Here we have 55, 53, 50, and you'll have to figure out the numbers in the sequence. Here we have 2, 8, 32, you'll have to figure out the next three numbers in the sequence. Here we have 24, 36, 48, you'll have to figure out the next three numbers in the sequence. Let's take a look at the rest, okay? Here we have 25, 30, 35. You'll have to figure out the next three numbers in the sequence. Here we have 3, 12, 48. You'll have to figure out the next three numbers in the sequence. And here we have 96, 48, 24. You'll have to figure out the next three numbers in the sequence. And that's it, boys and girls. <clears throat> now, you have a couple of options. Your parents have a PDF of, of these files so your parents can print this page out for you. You can work out the sequences that way. Or what you can do is your parents can just pull up the PDF, have it on the screen. You can write down the, the uh, numbers and the problems on a notebook, and you can work out the problems that way. So it's really up to you. There's going to be 10 practice problems. I only want you to do, or actually 10 pages worth of these practice problems, I just want you to do the first page, the one that starts with 22, 20, and 18. 
don't worry, you're going to have multiple opportunities to work on the rest of them. These are really cool. They certainly make you think. And because you're outstanding, I know this is going to be, it's going to be a little tough. I'm not going to lie. But this is going to be great for you. And because you're an outstanding student, you're going to put the effort, you're going to take the time, and you're going to get it. No doubt about it. Parents, I want to thank you again. Boys and girls, we'll see you very, very soon at our next lesson. With that said, everyone, please take care and bye-bye.